And I think one of the pieces that is, I think, sums up almost so neatly of all the, the kind of the diversity uh, and the history that we see in many of the works uh, in the collection is um, encapsulated by the work of Arno Mags, one of our most recent acquisitions from 2012. The piece is called After Nadar, uh, and it's based on a series from 1855 uh, by the photographer Nadar uh, and his brother in Paris. In order to publicize their studio, Nadar and his brother opted to create a series of sort of tableau of this well-known pantomime of Pierrot. Uh, the actor's name was Charles de Bureau, and he was well-known in this role. Uh, and I think they thought that, well, if we can produce compelling and sort of whimsical images of de Bureau, then people will want for us to come to our studio and be photographed themselves. Um, Mags was very, very taken by these, this series of images and then endeavored to create uh, a series of vignettes of his own. There are nine in total. And uh, in the end, they take up uh, different, ask, different sort of moments in his own life, but in a very uh, kind of oblique way. Some, some are more obvious than others, like Arno, in fact, did um, collect enamelware jugs. And so we see the Pierrot holding a number of enamelware jugs. Uh, the work that I find most kind of touching in the series is called Pierrot the Photographer. It is the one that is also has the, the most direct link to the original 1855 photographs. Uh, here we see the, Pier, the, the clown Pierrot, uh, who is Mags himself, standing beside um, a large format camera, a wooden camera on a tripod. Uh, in the original 1855 image, uh, Nadar's clown is looking down at the camera. He's sort of like checking his equipment. Um, but in Mags's version, he's in fact looking out at us, the viewers, and he has his finger up and he's like, hold there. You know, he has this kind of gesture that is, hold there. We are here looking at each other uh, across this representation, but across, across this act of being photographed. So he's kind of in that moment in capturing himself even in the guise of a clown, uh, in that pose, we have him kind of forever, forever photographing, which is, uh, I think, very, very touching. In that sense, the portrait is a, a legacy portrait, is him depicting himself at the end of his life for the rest of, uh, for the rest of us forevermore. And uh, I think that there is that sense of presentness that exists in the pictures, that sense of playfulness that were hallmarks of uh, Mags himself, um, but then also you sort of see the rigor of his own practice and his own sort of um, use of images that aggregate together that create groups to sort of tell a story.